Chris Mathias. Oh, hi Adam, how's it going? Yeah, fine. Listen Chris, the BAU have got back to me on the bleachers takeover matter for Gallagher. Apparently we are already acting for another bidder. <sighs> Shit! You're kidding. Shit! Afraid not. Do you want to let them know or shall I? No, no, I'll do it. I just... Just come from a meeting with them as well. Oh. It's taken ages to come back. Mm. Um, you around later? We, we should have a bit of a mop up. Yeah, no, look, I'll be back in the office this afternoon. Stick your head in when you've got a minute, yeah? Yeah, all right. Okay, look, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, that's Joe. fine. Okay. Joe. Hang on. What's the matter? The chain's down again. Right, okay. Um, that load needs to go at three, so you're going to have to do it by hand. It ain't going to get done by three. All right. Um, let me clear my emails and I'll come and give you a hand myself, OK? All right, it's got to be done by three. Just get started on it. Sorry. Let me just, um, I, I can do that. Yeah. Hi, Joe Wallace here. Yeah. I need to be thinking about a dozen different things at once. I just can't get anything done. Perhaps if you had a word with your manager. It's me. I should be able to do the job. Maybe you need a break. I've written you a note. Would you accept that your records are sparse? Well, I think they accurately reflect my examination. I wrote down my findings. But you accept that you haven't written down any advice given to Mr O'Neill? Yes. No, well, I did give advice. It's my normal procedure. I just didn't write it down. So, in fact, we cannot be certain you gave the advice at all? Well, like all records, they could be fuller, but then you could write forever. I accept they could be better, but I do believe my examination did properly address the symptoms given by Mr O'Neill. Mr Whitehead, you did not ask whether Mr O'Neill was experiencing flashes or floaters. You did not give appropriate advice because it simply had not occurred to you that Mr O'Neill might be in the early stages of a retinal detachment. No, that's not true. I did give advice, and I agree. I didn't think that Mr O'Neill was at the early stages of a retinal detachment because, quite simply, he didn't give those symptoms. And on examination, I, I couldn't see any evidence. Did you dilate Mr O'Neill's pupil? No, I did not. Did you obtain a clear enough view without dilation? No. Well, yeah, well yes. If he had those symptoms, I would have dilated him. But he didn't give me those symptoms, and there was nothing to put me on notice to dilate him. Thank you, Mr Whitehead. I have no further questions.